Hey, this is uh, John Reed, SAP Developer Stories. I'm in Palo Alto with SAP's Ben Boozer. How are you doing? Thanks, I'm great. How are you? Good. Uh, so, Ben is part of an internal group at SAP called, internally called App House, which is just an internal mm -hmm. name, not, not a publicly official name. Correct. Um, but what's more interesting is the work you're doing. Startup culture at SAP. That that's quite a mouthful. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, true. So uh, actually, about a year ago, our group um, was uh, trying to understand how we can leverage what we've learned already in the past years at SAP around design thinking, and uh, can apply that to a whole new unit that is working in yes, a startup style. And startup style meaning, um, you know, we are not living in uh, the SAP offices. Yeah, so uh, we are we have a whole separate space that really looks like your next door startup. <laughs> uh, we have uh, flexible um, tables. We have whiteboards everywhere. We have some fun stuff. You know, it's pretty colorful. We have. I nice saw a couches. picture of your, yeah. your office, and yeah. it literally looked like an internet cafe or something. We'll yeah. share a picture. It's actually an office, office you know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's a lot built around collaboration. I mean, the thing that we want to embrace is really the diversity of the team and uh, to have the people communicate. Because uh, the key part of our initiative is that we need to iterate fast and we need to talk to each other. So we are all co-located, we have designers on site, we have solution managers on site, we have of course developers on site, and all these people are working together um, on a day-to-day -day basis in the same space. Yeah? And, and so that's why space is very important to us. Yeah. And I, I heard a rumor you guys have a rule that I couldn't believe, which was 90 days out the door for applications. Is yes. That, is that true? <laughs> that is very true. So one of the things that uh, we, we try is really to push the boundaries, uh, especially for SAP. I mean, uh, certainly SAP takes a bit longer than 90 days to come up even with the next update, you know. Uh, and, you know, for the consumer market, so we are uh, focusing mainly on consumer apps and mass adoption, and the consumer market is much faster. So the consumer cannot wait for, for you know, a year until the next version comes out. So yes, we are focusing on a 90-day cycle and officially uh, we say okay from the stage where we ideate so we come up with solutions to out of the door you know solution is on the market it takes 90 days yeah. and you you've, you have some principles including mobile principles I know you've done some stuff with iPads mm -hmm. um, and you have a few different apps you've been working on. Tell us a little bit about some of them. Yeah, so um, actually, um, so most of our apps are built on HANA, which is also new to SAP. Um, so we have one solution I would like to highlight um, uh, on the one hand, because that is actually not a mobile solution, it's Charitra. Uh, you might have heard about it, but it's a mass adoption app built on HANA, and it's a web app. And then another app that we just released to market about um, three to four weeks ago, uh, it's an iOS app, it's called Records Plus, and uh, it's for the busy parent uh, that would like to track their children products and then get alerted if whenever you get, um, whenever there's a recall for your products. So it's pretty much, you know, for the safety of the parent. Um, a previous iteration of that was called Recall Genie, and folks sure. may have heard of that. Yeah. I think Vishal might have mentioned that in the keynote at one point. Exactly, yeah. So, so, so and that was your group that, that built that? Correct, yeah. So Recall Genie was actually the first consumer app that we've built. Um, and then sort of the 2.0 iteration of that is now called Recalls Plus. And technology-wise, so we focused, uh, the first iteration was focused on the River platform. And now the second iteration we are building on HANA in the cloud. Yeah, so which is uh, a, a different aspect. Um, yeah, and, and we are, we've been pretty much the first ones, uh, especially for consumer apps, uh, that did, who did that. Yeah. And you've also talked about the consumer app design can help you with the enterprise, so then you, then you are building apps that are more enterprise focused. Tell us about a couple of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we are working on some specific apps um, that are targeting, I want to say almost around analytics, but it's, it's going to be analytics for, let's say, the, the middle management layer. And um, we learned that some of the things that we know from the consumer space are just in, in, in the today's world, you know, are given to, uh, to us as end users. So I might be today, you know, I might be using my 
my iPhone uh, to browse uh, the web or uh, any other mobile device to do so, to execute some apps and I'm so used to this you know interaction that I don't want to go to the office on the next day and have a completely different user experience so we, we take some of that learning back to the actual SAP applications uh, and build uh, apps around um, you know budget reporting um, commissions checks for salespeople we have an app uh, that shows you in a very nice way on an iPad, you can skip through your cons uh, customer information as a salesperson and drill in uh, to some specific information. So when you're on site, on the location of the customer, you can really grasp easily all the important pieces of information on your iPad. So do you honestly think that building consumer apps has made you a better enterprise apps builder? Um, I think if you look at the learnings, it's, it's just something you cannot get around anymore. So uh, there is no way that we as SAP can neglect the fact that there is a consumer space out there and there's a heavy impact on the enterprise. Mm -hmm. Some people talk about bringing the Sunday evening experience to the Monday morning and I think that's kind of like uh, where our group fits in very well because that's, that's what we can do out, uh, based on the learnings that we now have. There's one more thing I want to touch on which is SAP's gotten a lot of flack and criticism around not being cool enough to attract the next generation of, yeah. of developers. Yeah. And I just wanted to ask you, just based on working in some of these locations, yeah. when, when younger developers see you guys at work and stuff, do you think that's an, a more appealing environment yeah. than classic SAP? Yeah, so, so one of the things that I always like is, so whenever people enter our space, there's like two reactions, you know? The one is, oh my God, that's so messy, I could never work here, yeah? And the other one is, wow, that's really cool, I wanna be here. And you can see, I mean, and, and actually we wanna, we wanna attract the second kind, you know? We want to attract the person that can deal with all that uncertainty, because that's just the way it is today, you know? And, um, and I have to say, uh, if you look at our team, we are a very young team. <laughs> and uh, whenever I talk to young people, you know, maybe people that are interested in our team or potential intern candidates, they always, they, they always come in and say, well, I really wanna work here. So uh, the perception definitely changes. Yeah. And uh, how long will it take to affect SAP overall as a brand in the Silicon Valley? Hmm? I don't know, but I can tell you that at least in our little community, the word spreads and, and uh, people you know, almost ask if they can work with us. So. It also sounds like a lot of blurring of the lines too between different roles because developers kind of have to pr learn to present their ideas mm, exactly. and, and, and kind of make a business case yeah. based on the roles and the customers they're trying to satisfy and yeah. those ideas can maybe get shot down or yeah. changed yeah. or you know and then you have to go back a little bit you told me before on some things you guys have had to go back a little yeah. when you realize that you had missed something important Definitely, so yeah. interesting challenges for a developer that might be thinking about I just want to code. Yeah, exactly yeah. and that's actually really cool because now so now what happens is you as a developer you go you present your you know finished code what you think is finished and, and good enough and you present it to designers, you know, to, uh, to visual designers, UX designers, and, and all other people that are part of your community, as well as other developers, and you get all the input. And then you're like, hmm, okay, so there is a couple of things that I really need to work on before we can release it to market. And only if the group is happy, you can release it, which is a different dynamic. You know, you don't just check off your, let's say, function or uh, your little thing that was in the project plan that you had to work on. No, you check off the whole solution holistically and with the view of all the people. So it's a different approach. Yeah. And it sounds like sort of a different skill set going forward for a developer to think yeah. about uh, if you're going to participate in these environments, you're going to need a little bit of a different set of skills. It won't just be about yeah. being able to crank out the best code. Exactly. Though yeah. good code probably still does matter. It does certainly yeah. matter. And, and I have to say, uh, and that's also interesting, I mean, um, when you look at our young developers, you know, they come in uh, maybe right out of school and uh, the, the great part is they can immediately uh, support the team heavily because uh, they bring in a complete new insights. You know, that maybe an SAP developer who worked here for 20, 30, I don't want to say 30 years, but for 15, 20 years might not have that perspective anymore. Sure. So, uh, and we need the new perspective. So we actually, uh, we, we, we give everybody the right of speech, you know, so there's no hierarchy in that sense. We are all on the same level and uh, we, we talk about things. So 
um, and and certainly yes, you cannot hide anymore. <laughs> yeah. So that's true. Yeah. You need to present and report out. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Startup <laughs> development culture at SAP. There you go. Thank you. <laughs>